Hello everyone, happy to see you. Welcome back to Eric's Gibberish. In this video, we are going to take a look at the essential mechanical tools that you will require at your electronics design and development workstation. This video is a part of a series of videos that I call Essential Tools and Instruments for an Electronics Workstation. Make sure to watch all of them. The links to the videos are given in the description section below. And if you haven't subscribed the channel already, then do it right now so that you get notified as soon as a new video is uploaded. Screwdrivers So let's begin with screwdrivers. They are used for the tightening or installation and the loosening or removal of screws. They have three parts mainly, the handle, the shank and the head. Now there are various types of screwdrivers available, mainly based on its head type or on its size. Flat head or straight head screwdrivers. Phillips head or cross head screwdrivers. Reversible head screwdrivers. Like this one having both the straight head as well as the cross head. Stubby screwdrivers. Small sized for use in constrained spaces. Hexagon screwdrivers for hex nuts, hex bolts, hex screws, etc. And finally, plastic screwdrivers to prevent an accidental shorting when used within powered equipments. One usually would also keep in their toolkit a screwdriver set in case other uncommon types and sizes of screwdriver heads are required. Screwdrivers with magnetic heads are also very useful to align the screw to the screw hole during its fitment. They also assist at fetching or picking up fallen or dropped screws. Some even have handles with magnetic ends, again helping the same purpose. Some screwdrivers have handles with a rotating end. This really helps at a faster and more comfortable use of the screwdriver. I personally really love this feature, makes working with screwdrivers way more easier. Also look at the beautiful design on this screwdriver. Classic engineering. Nose plier. A very handy tool particularly useful for gripping or holding various components and devices, bending the leads of lighter components, etc. It can be considered as a heavy duty version of a tweezer. And due to its shape and size makes it a very useful tool especially for constrained spaces and difficult to access areas. I would recommend you one with a spring of some kind fitted between its handles, which facilitates its easier use. Electrician's plier Can be considered as a heavy duty version of the nose plier. It is a multi-purpose plier useful for tightening nuts, bolts, screws, etc., gripping or holding various components and devices, bending the leads of heavier components, cutting cables and wires, etc. Nipper a cutter useful for lighter works like cutting the leads of through hole components particularly after soldering them on PCBs or for cutting very thin or delicate wires. Wire cutter and sleeve stripper A very useful tool mainly for cutting cables and wires and for removing or stripping off the sleeves of the ends of cables and wires. Now it takes a bit of experience to master the use of this tool as a sleeve stripper so don't get disappointed when using it for the first few times. You most probably won't succeed. Adjustable Wire Sleeve Stripper A more sophisticated tool to remove or strip off the sleeves off the ends of cables and wires. Comes with an adjustable length marker to adjust the length of the sleeve that it will strip off. Using this tool, you can strip off sleeves of multiple wires simultaneously too. Adjustable Wrench or Spanner Used to tighten or loosen nuts, bolts, screws, etc. especially of the hex types. Also useful for gripping or holding heavier components and devices. Forceps and Tweezers These are available in various shapes and sizes, particularly useful at picking up and placing SMD ICs and other SMD components when soldering them manually. Makes it much easier to align such smaller dimension components on the PCB using these. Retractable Blade or Pocket Knife A very useful tool for cutting papers and cardboards, opening packages, etc. Sometimes even creatively used to sharpen pencils in the absence of a pencil sharpener. Pair of Scissors Again, a very useful tool for cutting papers and cardboards, opening packages, cutting single and double-sided tapes, etc. Fine File 
useful to smoothen out any kind of rough edges or surfaces. And finally, a tool stand or tool organizer. Nothing more productivity friendly than having an organized workbench. I have made this entire list available for download in case you want to add it to your forthcoming shopping checklist. The link to it is given in the description section below. Now a very important information. Do not make the mistake of carrying any of these tools in your hand baggage or cabin baggage when flying. These are considered as forbidden items and hence carry them only in your checked in baggage. The airport security are very strict about them and will most definitely throw them away. I had once lost a very favorite one of mine, requested them so much but. And here's a quick question for you. Which of these mechanical tools did you find the most essential to have in your toolkit? Do leave your answers in the comment section below, would be interesting to know. Also let me know if there is any tool or instrument which you feel deserved a place on this list that I may have missed out at mentioning or may have been less privileged to have in my toolkit. Alright that's all there is for this video, hope you found it informative and helpful. If yes then please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for notifications to my newest uploads. And if you have any comments or suggestions over this video, then do drop them in the comment section below. And remember, a place for everything and everything in its place. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric. Until my next gibberish, goodbye.